hello everyone and welcome again to my channel here i hope you are having a beautiful weekend i hope you are enjoying your weekend and you're doing something funny or watching something that you like i hope you are doing well uh, in overall so let's get started with this video guys shall we in this uh, tutorial i want to show you how you can make an er application as easy as you can this will be uh, a simple application uh, just to show you how you can use er in unity so why keep talking and let's get started into it right now so the first thing you will want to do of course is to open the uh, unity hub of course if you already followed our uh, previous tutorial you will have already a uh, unity hub if you don't just go to the unity website and download unity hub when you're done with this all you have to do is to click this add button here uh, but first you will need to go to this install you will be here in this project but go ahead click install here click this add button here and select the unity version that you want to uh, install just do this stuff select something like this and uh, select the build support that you want in our case we need uh, the vuforia uh, build support so in case you don't see the vuforia build support here it's okay it just means that vuforia didn't create or unity didn't add the vuforia support in their uh, uh, version of unity so in any case all you have to do is to check the build support like this if you find before here, here or something like this and you click done and it will install unity for you once unity is done and installed you will have something just like this in my case i have those versions here and i already have um <coughs> sorry guys <laughs> and i already have the Vuforia augmented reality support and I have the Android bit support because I want to uh, export this application into my phone and to show you guys what I will be able to see so uh, when you have the, your version installed you go back to project and you will click this new when you click new it will gives you this uh, window here select 3d give a name to your project whatever the name you want uh, and the location where you want your project to be uh, to be in just uh, hit this create button here uh, I already did this so I will cancel it and I create this project here which is VR test so once you click uh, once you create your project it will open automatically in unity and so here I am in my unity uh, project here so the first thing we need to do is we need to set up the project to be uh, able to work for unity uh, for i mean vuforia so in my case here i will go to build settings and i will switch to android here so uh, by default you will be in this standalone uh, build right so we want to build this for uh, our uh, our mobile if you don't have the android build support it's okay you can build this just in your pc and you can test it just in your pc it will use your your computer camera to detect the object uh, you will understand later guys but in my case i want to have uh, an uh, an application in my phone so i just click this android here and you click this switch platform here once you click switch platform you give it just a couple of minutes and it will switch to android and you will have the unity uh logo on uh close to your uh, build settings so i will close this for now and you clear you do a right click in your hierarchy here and you go and you try to find the vuforia engine now if you don't have the vuforia engine support in unity it's easy go to the vuforia website guys and you go to download and here in download you will find all type of support you, we have here the vuforia package we have for the hololens and all this stuff you will need to download this one here add vuforia engine to a unity project it's just two kilobytes it's really 
uh, easy guys so you click this and it will download once it's downloaded all you have to do is double click it or just drag and drop it here in unity it will pop uh, a window asking you to import everything just click import and wait for uh, unity to set up correctly once it's done all you have to do is to right click and you will find this Vuforia engine and now I want to use the AR camera from the Vuforia when you will add this AR camera to your uh, to your projects it will give you a warning like this just click accept and it will be added right here once we add the camera here we need to set up of course another stuff you see this Vuforia behavior here in my case I have it correctly set up because I did it before but in your case you will have an error asking you to set up Vuforia in your play in your uh, player settings all you have to do it's really easy guys you go to the edit and you go to the project settings and you select player from this menu here you select player and you'll go to the XR settings here and you uh, check this Vuforia augmented reality support that's all you have to do and in case this gives you an error telling you that you have a Volca or something like this that you need to delete just go to the other settings and you scroll down just a little bit like this and here in the graphic API you will find OpenGL and you will find Vulkan you click on the Vulkan, in my case I deleted it, you click on Vulkan and you click this minus button here and it will be deleted. And now you will have not a single error in your project and you are already set up to use anything that you want. And now once we have done everything, all that's left to do is to add of course the image target we need. Uh, to use in our project because the image target is the one that your camera will be trying to track and find so it can spawn the object that you put on top of it uh, a lot of talking let's uh, practice so I will do a right click and I will choose the Vuforia engine and you pick this image here once you did you do this it will give you an error or something like uh, to, to, to accept or to import just click import and accept everything and it will be okay once you've done that you need to add a database to your image targets right so in my case I already have here an image target but in your case you you will have nothing so what do you need to do in this case all you have to do go to the Vuforia website you go to developer and you may need to create an account and it's for free just go ahead and create an account just like this as i did when you created the account you have to get a, uh, a key development don't click on this buy deployment key just click this get development key it's free guys once you click this button here it will give you something like this to give it a name and stuff like this let me let me just show you you click get development key you will wait you will give it a name here and you check this and you will confirm just like this you have a development key in my case i have already one here i will click it and it will give me this code here all you have to do is click the code once so it will be copied to your clipboard and you go back to unity you select your ER camera you scroll down you click this open Vuforia engine configuration and you just uh, paste your uh, application license key in this area here once you've done that scroll down just a little bit and I want you to find this device tracker by default it will be like this but you need to check this one so that unity and uh, uh, Vuforia can track as you can uh, you see here developers looking for extended tracking functionality should enable the positional device tracker so it can track the positional for the device that's cool now we are done and once you've uh, done this 
go back to the Vuforia website and this time switch from this lessons manager to this target manager. Once you are here, you click this add a database and you give it a name. Any name that you want, you keep it on this device here and you click create. Once you've done that, you will have a database just like this. Once you created your database, click in it and it will give you another list. So in my case, I added a lot of pictures here. In your case, it will be empty. What you need to do is to click this add target here and you pick this single image here and you browse to the picture that you want to be as a target. Now, how you can detect uh, the best picture for you? Let's say you are at home and you want to test this right away, right? So you need to find an object or let's say a book or uh, a paper or if you have card or something that have a shape and a, a, a flat and simple shape so that you can use it as a detectable image target. So in my case, I have an agenda that I took a picture of it and it was really cool. And you give it here the width that you want it, or you want it to be. In my case, I give it like uh, 1000, I think. And you just give it here a name and you click this add button. Once you've done this, you will wait just a couple of seconds until this statue will uh, switch from processing to active. And here, there is this rating here. This rating will show you how good the picture you just uploaded. Let me just show you. In my case, I have this face agenda here. And as you can see, I tried before with the agenda and it was bad. I tried with the iPhone 6 and it was really, really bad. So this time I, tried, uh, I did it with this face agenda. When I click it, it will show me the agenda. This is the agenda I'm using and the uh, augmentable, it have really a good rate. And once you click this, uh, let me scroll down here, this show features, you click it and it will show you all those dots here. It means this surface here is the surface that will be detected easily when I'm using my camera. So I will be using this area in my picture to put the 3D model that I want to be showed in uh, the video. So I will hide this for now. I will go back to my test picture. And once you've done everything and you have the picture that you want, just select the picture like this and you click this download database. When you click it, it will give you this one here to select a development platform. In our case, we are using Unity. You click and check this Unity editor. Once you check this, click download and it will download instantly because it have just like a 20 kilobytes or something like this. Once you've done that, all you have to do, of course, is to select it from the place you you download it. In my case, it's downloaded here. So I will select it like this and I have it here. All you have to do right now, of course, to open Unity, to go back to your assets here and you open your folder and you click and drag like this. Once you drag it like this, it will uh, ask you to import everything. Just click import and here you have your database imported to Unity. Once you've done everything correctly, you click the image target right now and here you will find this type predefined in the database. You can select the, the name of your database you just uh, imported to Unity. In my case, it's test pick. I have it here and the image target I have this face agenda as my image target and there it is here in unity my image target as easy as it is so here we have it like this and now we need to add the 3d model or the picture that you want to be showed up in my case I have here a house that I found uh, just on Google I downloaded this model here so I can use it just it's just a little house you can google any model any 3d model that you want just imp, uh, import it in unity and you are good to go so I will uh, click on this house and I will drag it here in my image target make sure 
you don't drag it anywhere but to drag it here on this image target so now we have in uh, the our barn open inside my image target uh, i forgot you will need to delete this camera here because we don't need it why because we already have our ar camera here right so the house looks really really big right so we need to make this house smaller a little bit so this is my image target i will make my image target smaller a little bit something like this and the house i will make it smaller even more something like this just so i can have this house uh, showing up completely in my picture so here we have the house and i need to detect where is my uh, my image target because something important that i've noticed when you spawn your uh, 3d model it needs to be on top of this image target here as you can see here we have the image target and we need our house to be on top of this image target so as you can see we have this house it's still big so i will need to make it even smaller something like this because this is a 3d model i downloaded uh, from uh, google it's really big and now once we've uh, resized the house i will just select my move tool and i will raise it on the y x uh, on the y axis here so i can make it on top of this image so it's already on top of the image i think just like this and now i have my image target i have this barn here and i have my ar camera uh, you may need to set up your ar camera just a little bit so it can focus on the house just like this so in my case it's it's like this and i have it just like this that's really cool let me just switch the angle here so i can see clearly where it's my camera now we are done with our ar application guys when you will uh, hit this play button here you should see your face <laughs> and you need to hold in your hand the uh, image target you did put inside unity and once your camera detects your image it will spawn the uh, 3d model that you used in your picture in my case uh, I, I will not test it on my camera here because <laughs> i don't want to show my face <laughs> right now but uh, i will click this edit uh, i mean i will go to file and i will go to the build settings here and i will click this add open scene once you click this add open scene it will add the sample scene we are working on and i will hit this build here and i will create an apk file i already did and i already imported it to my phone so let me go ahead and show you how the application work on my phone and uh, so guys uh, you can see here that uh, i have my agenda and i have my uh, beautiful house spawning on top of my agenda and it looks really cool as you can see i can move around and i can see the windows i can see the barrel here i can see everything that i want guys it's really really easy and cool guys i hope you did enjoy this uh, short tutorial video we created an ar application in 20 minutes guys you can do this as easy as you want if you want me to give uh, a, uh, a video in uh, a full length with more detail and we can add more animation and do something like someone running or we can play with a character in uh, your house <laughs> using your ar application we can do this just comment guys and we are going to do to do a full tutorial about this later guys so for now we are going to finish this video here i hope you did like this subscribe if you're not subscribed to this like like if you do like what we do and i hope to see you tonight in the tutorial unity guide continuing with learning c sharp so see you guys